Alright, so what are we doing? I think I'll cut the exhaust off. Because um, whoever put this exhaust on the car, mm. they didn't use any like bracket, not bracket, what would you call it? Clamps? Clamps, that's the word. Yeah, they didn't use clamps, they just welded the whole thing. So you don't can... need those. No. Hey. Oh, introducing Mr. Josh. Yeah. Hello, everybody. <laughs> but um, he's a sawzall expert. Yeah. But, Demo uh, expert as well. Yes. <laughs> so yeah, we're just going to chop it off so we can do the header today. We'll take the exhaust off another day. Do you have a light there? Yeah, on the other side he has one. Okay. Oh, I can't even... Heard it's good to not use eye protection either. Yeah, we're wearing, so we're wearing glasses, yeah. Good That's good enough, so... That no. A bleeding? Nope. Good. That didn't hurt, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> just kicked my whole arm against the car. <laughs> So, okay, so off camera, I only removed um, the hoses that go from here, from the wire pump into the intake. I don't know what it does. Some fancy stuff. Probably cools off the fuel as it comes into the intake, and uh, yeah, it's kind of magic stuff. But, so the way this works is the exhaust manifold, or on this car, it's got a header, is um, it shares the same manifold, same manifold gasket as the intake manifold. So when you take these bolts off, to take the header off, you're going to have to take the intake manifold off as well. So we're going to loosen those up. We're going to pull it off, hopefully, I think. I don't think we have to disconnect anything else. Should but, all just um, come off as one? Yeah, it should be. there should be enough flex in the lines that we can just pull it off enough that we can slide the gasket off and put the new gasket on when we put the new header. But, um, yeah, this should be pretty simple. So it looks like there's one, two, three, four bolts on the top. Uh, broken one on the bottom there, <laughs> which we're gonna. Have Nobody to, needs to see that. We might have to address that later. So I'm gonna go over here. We're gonna have to use ratchet. Uh, sorry, wrenches. I'll let you pass here. Oh, thank you, sir. Here we go film this wonderful. Oh, when you're sitting here on the bench, this makes as a table. You can put your food as you can. <laughs> you can tell by the napkin. But uh, let's go ahead and grab a 15. Oh, where is it? Stick here and a 14. Oh, there's a 916 silver here. Sick boy. <laughs> look at this. The wrenches I've never used yet. I bought a whole set of these ratcheting wrenches. Let's have a look. But I don't want to dirty them, so I haven't used them yet. Fancy. Very nice. We got a little tour in the toolbox. All these new screwdrivers and stuff like that. Pry bar. Old, old sockets and stuff. I haven't bought new ones. I don't have the money. I want to get these things. They're so good. Useful. This one didn't organize it. I got it on Amazon, but it's like just clears it. It kind of perfect gets in the way. Perfect. But um, got the new plier set and some of the old stuff. And this is we lend out to my son. When my son works on his car, he gets these <laughs> ones. And then the old screwdrivers for my son to use. <laughs> Hammers. Uh, I I don't think we have it on video, but. On my son's Civic, we made some speed holes in the trunk with I this I think boy. I do remember seeing that on video. Yeah, it's on someone's Snapchat. Uh, more grindy boys. Uh, more tools for your son. Miscellaneous tools for my son, because sometimes he steals them. And breaks them. Yeah. It didn't break your sander last time we were working on the Integra. Thank you for that, son. <laughs> and all the power tools over here. <coughs> and What's in this drawer here? I can't... We're going to have to cut it out. Do it we got this air tool stuff, <laughs> even though I don't have an air compressor. <laughs> I used to. Uh, miscellaneous drawer, like little knives and things that... It's supposed to be like pencils and stuff, I don't know where it all went. And then my diagnostics drawer, so I have a battery tester and a OBD2 scanner. Yeah, definitely and not use that to clear my check engine light no. a few times. Uh, oh, I pinched my finger a little bit there. It's okay. There are 10 of them, don't worry. <laughs> oh yeah, I got a couple spares. Okay, so I have everything unscrewed on this, pretty much. Uh, so, basically there's all the bolts on the top, the ones on the bottom, this one's broken. <laughs> I'm guessing this will just slide right off. Should. Um, What's preventing it from doing that? 
this bolt here that's still kind of on, but I thought this could maybe slide under, but I was wrong because it's still a little bit too tight. So how can I pull this exhaust off? Uh, I guess the exhaust is still going to hit on this. See, the car also makes a good spot to like chill in and watch the work being done, you know? Oh yeah. I do best. Chill and watch the work done. Watch a lot of work. Oh, you don't work hard and do construction, really right? Work, no, no. no. Really. <laughs> Here. So this will slide off, and as it would appear, I don't have a place to put it, so I'm gonna rest it on top of the valve cover. I'm gonna hold it with one hand and take the exhaust manifold off with the other. Amazing. Will it slide out? Now I'm gonna put this one back on here, like this, because there's pins for it. And it'll just stay, right? In a perfect world, yes. Perfect world. Is this world perfect, though? No, it's gonna fall right back down. But. But the most important thing is you can get the headers out now. If I can figure out how. What's preventing them from coming out? I think I have, and I have to take this off. Mr. Leto's gonna come have a look. Yeah. We're dropping fuel out of this a little bit. Oh, that's okay. Dude, so you're putting, you're not worrying about internal combustion. You're putting the fuel right back where it came from, the ground. Okay, recycle the dinosaurs. <laughs> the car putting it, dude, you don't need to bother with internal combustion. Can you just hold that? Put it right back in the ground. Thank you, sir. Let me think oh. about how this comes out. Like go underneath the car, lift it? Nah, I might just cut it, this thing. Alright, try that, one by one. And then that would bring it over here more and be able to lift it out. Yeah, try it. But that's a big waste of a header. It is. Especially considering they're only three years old, like you said. But uh, we don't... <laughs> do we care? How much do we care, Dan? They're like $200 new. And it's not even like... It's not even going in. Fuck them. Fuck them. Watch this. Things. $200. Oh, well. Cut it nice over here. I understand this is a big waste of money, but the other alternative would be to pull the engine out. And that takes too much time, I would say. I'm lazy. Me too, dude. This guy that paints his calipers instead of replacing them. But hey! Anybody have inline threes? Oh, dude, it smells good. <laughs> I wonder if I could just bend this fucking oh, thing. It smells like burning money. Did it come out? If this doesn't work, I'll be pissed. I just broke a fucking perfectly good header. Come on, Dan. Say sweet nothings to it. <laughs> Sorry. Dude, I always fart in every video you make. I don't know what it is. It's really good that you do that. <laughs> I really appreciate it. <laughs> Not so, so basically, I'm just scraping this all off with a razor so it's a like, flat surface for it to adhere to. There's a lot of fucking dust in here. Or not dust. Ow. Oh. Hit my head on the cameraman over there. Um, <laughs> I don't know what you would call this stuff. Not dust. Um, carbon. Carbon buildup. Dust bunnies. Dust so, bunnies. <laughs> oh yeah, no. It was, it was okay. Story time. Yeah, story time. While you're doing this. Yeah, because you can like spray it and do story time at the same time. So let me let me grab a, a light first. Watch out. One yeah, yeah, no problem, boy. I'll put a light on this so you guys can yeah. see what I'm talking about here. All right. So story time while he does this. Anyway. Okay. So story time. So basically. A what happened? Day, me and Stove were at a McDonald's parking lot. We were just grabbing up some Mickey D's. Mickey Dicks. And then um, all of a sudden, this person who appeared to be an addict um, <laughs> came up to us like when we were outside of our car. That was Steve's car. That was Steve Civic. Yeah. And she's asking. She's like, you guys got any... So she asked Steve. She's like, you got any smokes? Steve's like, no, I don't smoke. She asked me, you got any smokes? I'm like, no, I also don't smoke, right? I just wasn't about it. So then she's just like, huh, okay. Like, we're like, okay, yeah, we're clear. She's going to go home. Or yeah, leave us alone. Do her own thing. But no, she just like stops. She asked us something. I can't remember what she asked. She's like, she's like are you two a couple? Or are you two dating? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I used this rag, this drip stuff everywhere. Oh, good. Anyway, so she asked us if we're like a couple or if we're like she you know, if you guys if we're were gay. a gay couple. And then we're just like, we laughed it off. We're like, no, 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 we're not. And then she's just like, she's like, huh. 
And then she just grabs Steve's license plate. She said an obscenity it. first, though, that we're not going to say. It starts with an F, but... <laughs> Anyways. But, but then she just grabs his license plate and starts ripping it off and bending it. And we're, <laughs> she actually bent it in half. No, Steve. <laughs> she bent both sides. Like, the plate was done. Like, it was... I don't understand. And then she just walked away. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know how Steve and Clock... I got, I got plate covers now, though, for that. But Steve is the, the calmest guy. Yeah, he's actually the nicest guy. He won't, like, he's not mean, confrontational at all. Off to him, twist his nip on the street. You don't even know him. He just be like, "Hey, man." Another guy that Steve uh, works with, I guess. I don't know if he works with you, Steve, or he's just like the son of somebody who works with you. But he smashed his scooter on purpose into the rear quarter panel of the oh, Civic. He, works in the building I work. he lives in the building I work. Oh, so he, li- he actually lives in the building you work in? Yes, he does. Yeah, and yeah, what did he, he do? He smacked the whole side. He of smacked the whole scooter. side of the quarter panel yeah. of your Civic you on purpose, no? Oh, yeah. And then what did he do? He just like. That's it. That's it. <laughs> I told Steve what to do, hey, but hey, it's not very you good. own a scooter, crack it. Yeah. <laughs> what, what was your advice to Steve, Daniel? Take his scooter and throw it in the dumpster. <laughs> do that. I think you said to run it over or something. Oh, no, yeah, no, yeah, run it over. <laughs> Paul Luce said to take it with the, with the rope and just drag it. Paul Luce said <laughs> that? He <laughs> just said drag it out of your work. That would have been more funny, too. Yep, good. That's my dad, in case oh, you guys are wondering. I really, uh, bent my plate. I found the swamp. Oh, yeah, we went to go fishing at Lakeshore. Yep. And then there was, like, a little patchy area of, like, wood piled up, like, you know, like, washed up driftwood. And Stove was standing on it, and I was standing on it, but then he took a wrong step, and he just, like, <laughs> went right in the swamp. Wow, Steve, you were not having a it's good not, day that, that day, were you? That was a good day. That was a good no, day. Was not, good. not for Mr. Stove. No, not a good day. No, sir. So, if you guys want, let us know, and we can make a whole episode where we're just chilling on the couch, like, actually doing yeah, story time. some good story time. I just don't know how much we're actually allowed to say in terms of, like, well, things well, that are... Like, well, We'll say, yeah, we'll... We'll fix it in a way. Yeah, we'll fix it in a way so we can actually tell you guys so, some story time. Gaskets on there, that's good enough. Um, I'm going to show you something else. So, yeah. over here, there was a stud that was broken before. Yeah. So, it's kind of snapped here. And when I ordered the whole um, exhaust like header piece yeah i ordered extra bolts because i thought you know what are the odds that something's gonna snap that's literally the smartest thing and i've ever heard there so i have extra studs and everything for it so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the exhaust on there or the header yeah let's put so it on let's, dude let's take a look at that <laughs> slide one yeah. over here just like that sick and dude you just need the bolty boys the bolt reno's right here let me thread that through Dude, that alarm is still going on outside, eh? Yeah, there's some weird alarm outside. They definitely probably can't hear it through the camera, but I don't know, it's some construction site alarm or something. And this does not want to thread in. I don't know if this will thread on nice or not. But it's a little <laughs> bit awkward to get to. We got the other piece of the header. Squeeze it right on there. Yeah. Hopefully it fits. Yeah, it'll fit. She might not. That's the bottom piece, so it should fit. Yeah, we good. I think. Nice. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um, you will intake. So if, if you can hold this up for mm-hmm. me, mm-hmm. and then I'll tell you when to slide it in. All right. Because this side will hold this up too. Mm-hmm. A little bit of a confusing boy. And, and it should slide into those pins. Yeah. And that'll hold in like that. And then this is the one all the way on this side. So it's a little bit awkward. Be the nicest engine bay up the Canadian Tire parking lot there. Oh yeah. Bang. We do a little <laughs> car shows. Actually, I think I have to put this one on first because right. this is the one that actually mm-hmm. has an effect on it. There's no room though. So you know we're on 15% battery. Don't okay. Do I think so. Yep, to do it like that, yeah. That's okay, that's how you have to do it. <laughs> Amazing. Okay. okay, so we've got all the bolts on the top on. We've just got the bottom ones to go on right now. Yep. And then we're going to go around again and tighten everything properly. But, um, so I was having a little bit of an issue with the positioning. So I got one of these bolts in on the top, but this bolt wouldn't go in. So what I did is I loosened the bottom ones a little bit, and then I used a little bit of like a pry bar, a squeezer rag in between it, between the intake and the exhaust, uh, sorry, the the header and I was able to pry it just a little bit open like that so they were kind of like coming in together a little bit too much but we're good 
And now I just have that one bolt on the bottom, just to snug up, and we should be good. Um, in the meantime, while you were doing that, we had some guests arrive. Your son is now finally here. I don't have a team with anymore. <laughs> Um, and then we had Mr. Leto arrive as well <laughs> from the last video. But uh, yeah, no, it's been going good so far. No, Dan? Oh, you should have It's pretty good. Flex. Is this for flex your channel? Seal, fucking flex seal, man. Is this for your channel, Akeem? Yeah. Do you post anything yet? Nope. What's your channel called? Uh, yeah, shout it out. Uh, <clears throat> it's called uh, Undertune, you know. Sort of Undertune? Like, yeah, it's called Undertune, yeah. Is that the slowest integral on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, yo. I know, I should not have said that. What was it? Oh, yo, I know Daniel's gonna, like, take that and fucking share something. The slopes integral on YouTube. Dude, I mean, you know what I heard you should do? Daniel, love that. Akeem, I think you should just neutral drop your 400,000 kilometer plus drivetrain some more. Oh, yeah. And it'll just, like, the slipping will all just go away, yeah. Explain the slipping last night. Yeah, explain it. Go ahead. Alright, so, the slipping was, like... So, okay, one, it was terrifying in general. It was okay, so we're we're really down the street. We're yeah, coming yeah. back, and it was probably the longest ride I've ever been on in my entire life. Twenty minutes to turn twenty hours. Yeah, I'm in the car, and the car bucks like it's like mm, mm, mm. no, no. I was like mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Steve. I thought we weren't gonna make it back, and then Dan, of course, is boosting up my confidence. Is like, yeah, this isn't gonna keep. Oh, okay. oh, <laughs> yeah, this isn't gonna keep. No, but dude, I heard automatic Hondas made from like the '90s to like mid 2000s are good though i thought they were good no no they are not dude good. steve has some experiences with that do you not steve they're not good <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna plug that in there no and this one goes into here and that was all the hoses there was besides the fuel line i just got one fuel line right here and then that's it now everything just needs to be tightened and we're that's good it. We're ready to go we gotta put on the other piece which is like i guess the mid pipe or whatever. yeah mid pipe that's gonna be connecting to the header but we're not going to do that today because we got to go into the car or whatever, and yep. that has to be kind of welded on, so... Here, I'll take the camera, I'll take over from cameraman, and you can take a look at the header. It looks really pretty. It fits on pretty good, so you got a lot of space down there between the frame and the header, and the transmission. It's cleared really good. Up on top, she looks really pretty. You can see the new stud I put in. Uh, where is it? Right there. It slipped for like three years. But yeah, so everything's in place, good. And yeah, she just got to be cleaned up now. And we're gonna finish off a little bit. We took a detour. Oh, chip some paint off of that. That's good, right? Yeah, right there. Oof. You don't need paint. That's fine. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna finish up on the oil cooler and we're gonna be done. Sweet. All right.